Hello everyone, today's episode is going to be a very special episode where I interview an agnostic and hear their take on God's existence. So let's get on with the interview. Do you consider yourself an agnostic or an atheist? I consider myself a agnostic today, um, but in the past I would maybe consider uh, atheist because, um, you know, different situations at different times, but today definitely agnostic. That's very good. I'm glad you became agnostic, so. Because you said before you considered yourself to be an atheist at one point. Do you know what made you become an atheist? Well, I came from a very religious uh, background. My mom was very... uh church going person uh every at least every sunday with the family but i never really truly believed there was something there uh because i never saw any evidence of um, any actions from from god and i saw you know some some things that affected my family in a negative way when my dad passed away but uh i was always wondered why he would allow that to happen in, in such a way so you said that because of um, some situations in your life that it caused you to maybe believe that God didn't exist at some point? Yeah, then it was kind of interesting. And, um, you know, a couple of years ago, uh, my mom passed. Uh, that was a very you know, dramatic event for me because I was very close to her. Uh, and I, you know, actually started praying to her to help me in terms of my, uh, that I, you know, things I wanted, hopefully she could help me and support me with. And I prayed and prayed, you know, directly to her. And I believe this is a miracle. She, whatever I, that pray, you know, pray I made to her, she actually made it happen. And I thought it was a miracle. And uh, so now I actually believe there's something there. Uh, and thanks, you know, for the intervention from my mom. Uh, she showed me signs that uh, she's there beside me. That's very beautiful. That's a very beautiful testimony there. So you said that there have been times where you question why God allowed things to happen, right? Yeah, I look, uh, you know, through you know our global, you know, areas of environment and see catastrophic events out there, and I always wonder why they happen. And now we have this global warming, but then I realize that it's it's really not God creating those environmental issues. It's actually the you know the people here on Earth or making decisions that impact our future in, in terms of events. Yeah, that's definitely true. And God gives us free will. And the Bible talks about how we do have free will and that we're able to basically choose for ourselves what we want to do. We could decide. Like if somebody decides, let's say, to smoke all their life, they know there could be a risk to have cancer. And they smoke constantly, they could get cancer. There's things that happen that are just out of God's control. We have the free will to choose things in our life that happens. And, you know, it says here in Ecclesiastes that, I saw that all that God has done, and nobody can understand what God does here on earth. No matter how hard a person tries to understand it, he cannot. Even if a wise man says he understands it, he really cannot. No one can really understand. And sometimes there's things that just God allows to happen that we can't understand. And yeah, we have free will, but sometimes God just allows things to happen. And we just, it's out of our control at some point. So do you have any other questions that you'd like answered about God's existence that maybe could help you become more of a theist and start believing in God completely? Yeah, I think if I could, you know, see more evidence of God's presence on earth, you know, some events that gives me a sign that he's there protecting, you know, the right people and and really everybody, even though they might not believe in him. But I would like to see some more evidence that uh, he's out there. Okay, so we do have a little bit of evidence from a movie. I'm I'm going to show you a movie clip and we're going to talk about it afterwards. So this movie clip comes from the movie Heaven is for Real. And I think it's about a guy, um, a young um, a young kid who basically said that he went to heaven, died, went to heaven, and then came back to earth. So I'm going to play this clip for you, and we're going to reply. So that was a clip from Heaven is for Real, and it's based on a true story. Now, what do you think after seeing that? Does that show you maybe a little more evidence or proof? Yeah, it was a very emotional um, video. Um, it shows that there are events that you don't even know about that happen every day that demonstrates God's presence. And that one was really touched my heart. And um, it's a true story. And um, uh, I really, you know, touched my heart to see that little boy go through what he did, knowing he went, he actually went to heaven and saw what heaven's all about. So I'd like to see more to that, but think that's uh, the miracles that, 
happen every day that we don't really hear about. So I'd like to see more of that. Yeah, definitely. There's definitely a lot of miracles all around us that it happened. And I can be attested to that too. Something's happened even in my life that I'm very thankful for. To God. So is there any other closing remarks that you'd like to add here for any other people who are an atheist or agnostic? Any words of wisdom for somebody who might be questioning their faith? Uh, my advice to everyone is to have a open mind. Uh, look at things that are unbiased and really look at events every day and, and thank the Lord that you go every day in terms of love with your family, your friends, and everyone that you have um, compassion for. So um, keep an open mind and you'll see in the end that you know religion and signs go hand in hand uh, and that's the beauty of what God's about. So uh, I just thank you for this opportunity to speak to you about this. And uh, you've been very instrumental in helping me see the real vision of God in our daily life. So thank you. Thank you for joining us. And thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you found today's episode interesting, please feel free to share it with a friend. Have a blessed day.